Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying three kinds of cheeses. These were sent to us from Michael in Wisconsin. He bought these from the Wisconsin Cheese Mart. And so today we're gonna be trying the, um, I have maple leaf cheese in two flavors. I have cranberry white cheddar and blueberry white cheddar. And I have uh, milk stout beer cheese made by MKE. Milwaukee. Milwaukee Brewing Company. Okay. Yeah, well, Milwaukee Brewing Company. So I'm gonna talk about each one of these as we go along. Did you look at anything on there? Uh, yeah, better. This is the um, uh, handcrafted with pride since 1910 maple leaf cheese, Masters Mark, Wisconsin. It's cranberry white cheddar cheese. It is 110 calories for a one ounce serving, 28 grams or a one inch cube. There we go. And yeah, these, the, the uh, maple leaf both have the calories on them. However, the uh, beer cheese does not. So the um, cheddar cheese, white uh, cranberry white, this double milled aged white cheddar from maple leaf cheese in Monroe, Wisconsin is made with cranberries from the cranberry bogs of Northern Wisconsin. This, keep it dark, I'm gonna get it pimped out for now. Okay. This combination makes this Wisconsin cranberry cheddar decidedly tart and flavorful. It was $6.25. It is a young cheese and it is soft and it has a mild, mild flavor. And the, it, the pairing recommendations, um, all, all three of these cheeses you can have with wine or beer. And if you go to their website, there, there are specifics, like specific beers and specific wines that they, that they name. Like red and white or Chardonnay or it's whatever. Very specific, yeah. yeah, so it, that's great. So if you're curious, go to the Wisconsin Cheese Mart and they'll give you very We're not specific. wine drinkers, so. Yeah, <laughs> um, or you can have it with nuts, dried fruit, grapes, and chocolate. It smells like just cheddar cheese. And we are trying it alone because we want to just chase the cheese. Hmm. I like that. Now that's a different, um, it definitely tastes like regular cheddar, which I love cheddar cheese. Mm -hmm. It reminds you of cheddar cheese, except it's got a little bit, it's a little bit different flavor. It's not really tart though. No, and I honestly, if they hadn't told me there was cranberry in it, I wouldn't have tasted it at all. Yeah. I think it's really um, a neat idea. It's awesome that they use cranberries from right there. I think it adds a little bit of a sweetness to it. There's a there's a little bit of different. Yeah, flavor. give me a little bit. Uh, I want to make sure it has a cranberry. Does it have? That doesn't. That well. Oh, uh, yeah. This one's got cranberry. It's got a bunch of cranberries. I like it though. It's, it's not bad. Mm -mm. I like it a lot. This would not go with like a macaroni and cheese or anything. Mm -mm. But, um, but you could definitely put that on a cracker or. Um, this would be very like nice sliced um, on a crackers, Ritz, Triscuits, Club crackers, mm -hmm. anything like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. I still didn't get the cranberry. I'm sorry. I didn't really either. I don't I, really either. I really don't get the flavor of the cranberry at all. It didn't do anything for me, but I love the flavor of just the cheddar cheese itself. It's delicious. Did you say how many calories that is? Yeah, I think it's the same. Cut. It's the same. It's 110 calories for 28 grams of one a good inch piece cube. Of this is the cheddar cheese blueberry white. This double milled aged white cheddar from Maple Leaf Cheese in Monroe, Wisconsin, is mixed with Wisconsin blueberries. I shake the whole table. This okay. combination makes this Wisconsin blueberry cheddar decidedly sweet and flavorful. So the Cranberry was supposed to be tart, but it wasn't. It was really good tartness. Um, right? This one's supposed to be sweet and flavorful. The cranberry was six twenty-five. This one is only five seventy-five. Yeah, it is a young, soft, and mild flavor. And it the pairing recommendations. This one was different than any other one I looked up because the only pairing recommendations it gave for this was wine and beer. It and, and maybe that was just something they missed on their. Website. website it didn't name like crackers olives uh dry yeah, you know fruit. Cheese to go with it. yeah it didn't name anything else i 
I actually like the taste of that one better than the cranberry one. Because it is just a little sweet. Mm -hmm. I swear I don't taste any blueberry. I don't really get blueberry either. <laughs> I don't get the blueberry. I think if it was missing, you would know it was, I mean, you would, you would be different. Yes. But out of the two, they're both delicious cheeses, but I do like the, the blueberry. Just, there's just something there. It has to be the blueberry that gives it just a hint of sweetness. There's a piece without. With nothing. And it doesn't taste much different than what it did with them. Mm -mm. There might be a slight difference in flavor if you, if you, if it wasn't there, but it's it's not it's a subtle well i can tell you that is delicious it's delicious cheese. Cheese. yes yeah. i really am impressed with that that's very yeah, good that would be good at, um just the just the cheddar cheese by itself would be really good sliced up on a sandwich yeah just oh, the yeah. regular cheddar you now even those the, you could slice those i was gonna say i think even these would go great on a sandwich because you can't taste them. they're not a strong they're like i said they're a subtle you can't flavor. taste the blueberry or cranberry yeah so i think Personally, I think you could use that on any kind of sandwich. I'm going to show you the bottom of this. Because you're not going to know. Okay, this beer one cheese. It's kind of cool looking. is the uh, beer cheese milk stout. It does not have any calories or and anything. I'm trying to figure out the best way to cut it. It says this creamy white cheese starts as curds, which are soaked in a milk stout made by Milwaukee Brewing Company. Pressed, bandage wrapped, and aged. The milk stout gives this cheese a rich roasted malt and coffee flavor with a silky sweetness. The creamy dark beer also adds beautiful marbling throughout the beer cheddar. This Wisconsin original is not only visually exciting with a wonderful depth of flavor and textures, but also truly authentic Wisconsin made from the cheese itself to the beer it is soaked in. And it is $6.50. It is a young cheese with a medium to hard texture between medium and strong flavor. The pairing recommendations are the wine and beer, like I'd said before, savory crackers, crusty artisan bread, nuts, and dried fruit. It doesn't, it doesn't really have it a strong smell. It is pretty, smell. isn't it? The flavor is though. Definitely get that beer flavor. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, really strong beer. I, <laughs> for, wow. Right at first I was like, yeah, I can taste the beer. And then it's like, wow. Yes. If I, you like beer, it, I think it'd be good. I think if you like beer, you will love this. This, mm -hmm. um, because it, it tastes like, I mean, I can drink a beer, but I'm not a person that's gonna ask for a beer. No. I would rather ask for a different alcoholic drink than a beer. However, if you really like just a bottle of beer, this it's got is a really perfect. Strong yes, that tastes that tastes just like a bottle of beer. It's it yeah. yes, in cheese. And it's definitely different than what we traditionally think of as the spreadable beer cheese. Yes. And I want to just make that clear that it's not the same thing. Yes. You know it's called beer cheese. It's really this is more cheese with beer like soaked into it. Yes. Well ours is like conglomeration of different things and spices. Beer and cheese stuff. originated in Winchester, Kentucky, yeah. where we are. And so our beer cheese is actually a cheese spread. It's almost like the kind you would get out of a can kind yeah, of. Almost like can yeah, almost like can. Yeah, almost like can. But they cheese. they put it in a tub and it's spreadable. You, yeah. And you spread it on crackers and you can have it on sandwiches and uh, So you if know. you've never had that beer, see that Wisconsin should make their own beer they cheese. They need that to make beer they cheese. truly need to make their own beer cheese. They spread. might. They um, might. But I don't think that's a I don't know if that's a I don't, area yeah, I don't know if that's in your area at all. You'll all have to let me know in Wisconsin if you have that kind. And it's usually there's a little spice to it. Yeah. Um, it's, and there's no spices, there's, it's just cheese and beer. Yeah, usually that you add paprika uh, to it to yeah. give it to give it a little bit of a kick. So it's it's really good. However, this is a, a, beer in cheese it right. really is so if you like beer then you you will love this it's and delicious that's something you couldn't really well i mean i guess you could put it on a sandwich but you're not going to put that on a ham sandwich no i don't think you would that's going to be more on a cracker i agree or, with or a crusty like a, bread or a yeah cracker. some kind of what are those i think uh, it's brioche isn't it the little toasted little round circles oh, of bread um 
Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I yeah. can't think of the name. It's escaping me. I know the name. I just can't think of it. Um, Tostini's is what I'm going to think of, but that's not it. Um, anyway, that would be really good on that. And even baked in the oven a little bit to soften it a little bit, mm -hmm. that would be really good. Yes. The other two, though, I think you could get away with putting those on sandwich. I really think you could put them on a sandwich because you can't taste the blueberry, cranberry. However, like I've said three times, it's excellent chips. It's good. Excellent. It's good. So, thank you very much to Michael for introducing us to these. We appreciate it. I will have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.